I stayed up till three, working on demons and poetry. Thunder crashed in my head before I saw the lightning strike. I blasted music so I could work on the chore and I drew my, me, myself, in anxiety. It looked like a hero, a monster, an art by society. Am I, am I the only one to see that cupcakes and grenades should not be interchangeable? In my mind, if it were stable, my monster looks like a taint in my word. I know it's absurd that what I speak isn't said by me, but isn't what I want to be, is what I say blasphemy. As I send letters, as I send out letters, it's never asked to me, are you okay? And are you who you want to keep alive? Even then I say I thrive. I'm the words and the dreams I reap as I cast away sleep, searching feverish, feverishly, <laughs> for a way to kill or fix what's taking over my mind. Humanity's kills is all I find. When I write down this, I don't expect respect for me. Only pain, only what has pain caused, he, they, who cry paint to make the moon are cast as artists and loon. Another word for someone who can't stop and feel love or pain for which they created and destroyed even as, it pain, as they plan it. It crumbles from their emotion in an asteroid, which is encouraged or remade from the form of praise that they get, and my mind ticks like a grenade. Trying to find the word to rhyme with the sick words I feel, not knowing the difference between what I say and what is real. Even in my dreams, it seems my facade fades away. Even my hope knows that happiness doesn't always stay and uses that to explain that I'll be happy again. And that living will begin because I cannot survive by just surviving. And that my heart will be reviving and the undeciding death of me. Because I will be alive and I will strive to show life to the ones who are filled up to the brim with strife. I'll live for myself. I'm alive for others. My only hope is someone will do the same for me.